<laughs> Hi everyone. Today I wanted to just give you a really quick overview, a short little tutorial on um, what a clicker is and how to clicker train since you're going to see me using the clicker a lot when we do tricks. So um, now there are fantastic books on this subject. Obviously this is an in-depth part of training. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little, you know, quick tips on the clicker today. Um, but I do find it to be an enormously helpful um, tool. And I know in our more advanced trick training, um, I couldn't have done a lot of them without having the use of the clicker. Um, so to start, there are two different kinds of clickers that you can use, both equally effective. One is what we call a box clicker and one is a button clicker. Now you will see me using the button clicker a lot with Loki during our videos. Um, really that's just personal preference. I like it because of the raise button. I don't always just have to have it in my hand. I've been known to put it under my shoe and click it or underneath my armpit and click it. So I feel like I have a little bit more range of movement, but both are equally effective. Um, so you can use either one. And basically what I consider this box is a promise. So they call it a secondary reinforcer, but it is a promise that you are going to get a reward. It's just going to take me some seconds to get that reward to you. But whenever I click this box, it's a promise that what you did at that exact moment, that's what I want. So it allows us to teach a dog in pieces that you are going in the right direction. You might not have the finished tool yet, but it, you're going the right way. And then you would just stretch how long it is before you click. So um, an uh, example of that would be if I'm teaching Loki to do a spin and he doesn't understand spin, he's sitting down, he's backing up, he's doing lots of different things than what I want. What I can do is give him little pieces of the puzzle. So for instance, if I asked him to spin, I could click it at the quarter turn, you know, just a little bit in that direction and click and reward him with the tree. And then the next step, I would go maybe a half turn and click there. And then I'd wait a little bit longer and three quarters turn until I can get that entire spin around in a circle. So it allows me to just break down um, the trick to him. It's also very effective down the road when you get to more advanced tricks with chaining commands together. Um, so what we would need to do if you want to use the clicker is you just need to load or charge the clicker this week. So effectively all I do is click it and click is going to equal treat. So if I click the box, I'll just click and if Loki looks at me or gives response, he gets a treat for every time he hears that click. Okay, so I would just click and he gets a treat, click, treat, you can do that as many times a day as you want, you know, make him really strong with it. So he knows that that box means the reward is coming, okay? Once he knows that, and that's gonna take a very, very short amount of time, obviously, I don't wanna click it with him too much today because he is uh, very aware of what the clicker was is, so I don't wanna click him for something bad he might be doing right now. <laughs> but what we would do is start applying it to other parts of the commands that they know. So for instance, the first thing on your, um, on your list this week is going to be teaching the sit. So when I'm doing the sit command, he would get his treat right when his butt hits the ground, okay? Now, if he didn't understand that, I could give it to him a little above the ground, but, um, but we need to apply it in lots of different situations. And so you're going to see me throughout the weeks using the clicker a lot. Um, and if you choose not to use it, you can also use a reward marker like a, um, like yes would be a good one, um, you know, a word that just means yes, right? What you did at that point is perfect. Um, so I encourage you to use the clicker. If you have any questions, please feel free to post questions on our group page um, and, and everybody will help you out, I'm sure, not just me. So um, I hope you have fun and, and enjoy clicking.